Did you really play Demon's Souls or do you just pretend to? So Demon's Souls came out in 2009 as a PlayStation 3 exclusive and ended up inspiring its spiritual successor Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2 and of course re more recently Bloodborne which have all been massively successful and just critically acclaimed across the board. So in comparison how is the game that started it all? What's Demon's Souls like? Should you check it out if you like Dark Souls? Yes of course you should. It's just Dark Souls but more demon-y. <laughs> Uh, we'll keep that. More genuinely, it is very clear that Dark Souls owes its roots to Demon's Souls. There are some key differences, obviously. Uh, you ha you, you bet you're based in a hub world called a Nexus that you go out into these various levels rather than it being an interconnecting open world. Uh, you're not an undead, uh, so you don't have, so the story is, is much more, the story is a bit less inspired, so we say. It's basically demons bad, go kill demons. Uh, no, it's a bit, it, it, there's a bit more to it than that. It's, it's actually quite a lot more than I'm giving it credit for, but the story bit doesn't make you want to go out and find out a lot about the lore, like, unlike Dark Souls. Souls. The gameplay is very similar. I mean, that's really what ties all the Souls games together is the gameplay, the slow, meticulous combat based around blocking and parrying and weeding around each other and the occasional bit of spell casting, which is totally for casuals, obviously. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, it's, the gameplay is pretty much the same as in the Souls games. And if you were, if you were comfortable with, this, with Dark Souls combat, you're going to be very comfortable, very at home with Demon Souls as well. Visually, the game is starting and actually show its age a little bit. It's about what? Well, it's only actually about six years old, five, six years old at this point. Um, it is a bit washed out. The color palette is much darker than uh, and less vivid than Dark Souls. But obviously it still looks very nice. Uh, the creature designs are all very cool. Um, once again, less inspired than in Dark Souls, but overall it, it does its job perfectly well. Uh, I'd say I would personally say the exact same thing about the audio design. It's, um, they kind of, they did a good job but they didn't really find their, their style until they hit Dark Souls. A lot of people put Demon's Souls on a pedestal above even that of Dark Souls, uh, maybe because it's kind of the original and especially if you played it first, uh, before before the Souls franchise got really big, uh, you I suppose you're gonna have that very personal connection with it that you, you played it before, before Dark Souls became massive and, and it became a huge thing. But uh, from the point of view of someone who played Dark Souls before playing Demon's Souls, actually that's not true. I played Demon's Souls for an hour, then played Dark Souls, then played the whole of Demon's Souls. But from my perspective, Dark Souls is just a better game. Um, I suppose you could argue Demon's Souls is the pure Souls experience because it's the original. Um, but it doesn't really matter. If you enjoy one, you're going to enjoy the other. You're going to enjoy them for largely the same reasons and you're going to enjoy them for slightly different reasons as well. But Demon's Souls is absolutely fantastic game and it's really interesting to go back and play it having played the Souls games. So if you have, if you're a big Souls fan and have never played Demon's Souls, you know, you can pick up a PlayStation 3 pretty cheap at this point and yes, it would be worth buying a PlayStation 3 just to play Demon's Souls at this point. I really would recommend it that much. At the end of the day, Demon's Souls is basically a slightly older, in some ways slightly worse, slightly clunkier, and in some ways slightly better, slightly purer version of Dark Souls. And if you like Souls games, you like Souls games. If you haven't played Demon's Souls, you absolutely should check it out. Funnily enough, if you've never played a Souls game and you want to get into it, I would actually recommend starting with Dark Souls. I don't know why that is. I think it will just draw you into its world and get a grip on you a bit quicker and a bit more easily than Demon's Souls would. I think you have to work a little bit hard to get into Demon's Souls. Don't get me wrong, you've got to work hard to get into any of the Souls games, which is probably their one major downfall. But once you get in, then there is nothing else like it in gaming. So overall, I rate Demon's Souls an 8 out of 10. It is an absolute masterpiece, just like Dark Souls, but overall I think that everything from the visual and audio design to the, to the boss battles and the gameplay, the fine tune of the gameplay, I think they just made Dark Souls that little bit step above. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Have you played Demon's Souls? What do you think of it? How do you rank 
the Souls games. For me personally, I think it would have to be uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, um, and then Dark Souls 2 and Demon's Souls are a bit of a toss up, I really can't decide. How would you rank them? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to check out my full written review of Demon's Souls, as ever, you can uh, see the link to my blog in the description. Until next time guys, thank you so much for watching and take care.